it has been a minute since I have just picked up the camera and talked to my TikTok family. Um, it's a very happy Sunday. I'm having a very nice Sunday. But I wanted to give you all some updates on plans for Ghana, returning to Ghana, managing uh, my life here in the Chicagoland area, specifically Maywood, and what's next in terms of um, the outreach, in terms of all that good grassroots activism and the momentum that I have with um, Benjamin Opari and Banana Foundation back in Ghana. So, you know, my plan was to come. I thought I would be out of here by the end of September. We arrived here on September 5th. And it was my plan to come, collect my mother for whatever time it would take to get her passport, and then we would be on our way back to Ghana. You know, I have the um, three-bedroom with that space there. And so, you know, plans were to set her up there with us, and, you know, we would move forward. Well, we make our plan. God sets our steps. And the day before her passport arrived, she went back. She went to the hospital. I actually had her ambushed um, because she did not want to go, okay? But over that first couple of weeks, she stopped coming out, sitting and talking with us. She wanted to get her hair done in the bed. It was just a lot of digression, and um, I could tell, like, she wasn't okay. And the main thing was those loose bowels. And so um, she had a severe urinary tract infection, something I've now learned functions like septus in elders. It is It completely makes them sick, uh, where they lose their appetite, you know, they become delusional, they um, can't hold their bowels. And so the medication that she was given, the antibiotics, antibiotics that she was given also loosened her bowels. And so, you know, my mother is um, with the trach and the G-tube. So she feeds herself the liquid diet through the G-tube and she wasn't holding any of it. So I know what dehydration looks like. I know what it looks like when you not, when you diarrhea, you can basically diarrhea can kill you. Okay. So yeah, we cleaned her room and got her nice and comfortable in her bed. And then I called the ambulance and I had her ambushed and had her taken out of here. Well, the hospital revealed more. So what she has is cancer on her lung, on her right lung, which she was already an esophageal cancer survivor. Now she has it on her right lung. And she also has a specific strand of pneumonia. So they've been loading her with the antibiotics, fighting the pneumonia. The cancer is the cancer. And even with that, I still had hopes of taking her back to Ghana. And I have some pretty decent relationships with people that are in the medical field. From all the outreach I've done, it has me knowing a little bit of everybody, okay? And a little bit of everybody knows even more of everybody. So I had a good medical arrangement potentially in place for her. The problem is, does she have the lung capacity to make it on the plane, okay? So that was that's what I felt was my biggest obstacle. And I was trying to be really realistic about that. And so it looks like I would be betting no, okay, no. And then the other thing is, she's we have a good medical situation set up here with um, how the hospitals are managing her. I actually don't want to transition her someplace else where she would not get as great care. And, and, and I'm not even talking about God, I'm talking about um, just systems, n not being, uh, to, being able to get to her as rapidly as one would wish. So I don't plan on moving her. And she and I have talked about that. But I also am not planning on leaving her. So I don't believe when a friend is in a fire, I don't believe you leave them. I don't believe when, when uh, uh, there's a, a fight breaks out, you're the first one to run. So it is my intention and in, to put in as best support as possible before I return to Ghana. Now, here's the reality. My assignment in Africa is not over. I still feel great, um, a great drive and a connection to go back and, and finish what I started. One, I have a business there. Ghana gave me a business. I, I have um, sent so much resource of hitting myself, at least uh, to, to my count now, 48 boxes, four wardrobe boxes, uh, a bike, uh, mobile aids, scooters. It's, I have to return, okay? I have to return. But in the interim, um, what I decided to do 
is to recruit me a ambassador. So there's a woman, her name is Myra Foster. She is a heavy hitter, an amazing American black, comes from the Chicagoland area, living in the South. But she's a philanthropist in her own right. She's a published author. She has her own um, um, not-for-profit. Like she has a lot of the things I would be looking for um, if I were having someone step in my shoes, okay? So what I'm asking her to do is to represent me um, and stand with Benenin Foundation while I'm still here managing things with my mother. Because what I don't want to do is rush her, and I don't want to sit in another woman's face, sit in other people's face, supposedly doing outreach with them, while I leave my own parent flapping. My, I have an older brother that's in Detroit, Michigan. We're, that's where we're originally from. We actually are not originally from Chicago, although it's all the Midwest who has said he will come and collect mom and put her as close to him. And there's so much more family to rotate um, her care to make sure whatever things are in place, she can still get the uh, maximum amount of care. Um, if you've seen my other video, you know that when in the early mornings or late at night, she gets busy. She removes the, her G-tube, she takes off her oxygen, she removes, you know, she just, she just really sets herself back. She tries to change her own diaper, she, she tries to walk. It's a bunch of stuff that she tries to do that requires greater care, greater help than she can give me. I don't even believe I would be able to sleep with her in here. We tried it for one night. She did play us, she did get busy, she did flip the script. And I had something ready for her, and it's called 911. I got her butt out of here so quick, it would make your head spin because I don't have the skill set to manage that. So I tried to imagine just going to the store, just doing something basic and coming back and finding her because she is a fall risk, finding her on the floor, laying in her own fecal. I don't want any of that for her. I would like for whatever's happening with her, which I believe that she may be transitioning, but it's slow. I would like for her to have as great quality of life as possible. Now, uh, her favorite people are myself and Gia, um, but the truth is my brother Michael is also her son. That is her child. It's not for me to hoard her. My mother has been with me since 08, and I have respected her wishes from the time that she came to me. Okay. So she wanted to stay in the house, okay? I wanted her to travel with me to Ghana. She did not want to go. She was very adamant. We are no nursing home family. I didn't want that for her, and I gave her what she wished to the degree that the house is um, a financial, on some level, a financial burden for me, even though it's home and I love it. So, um, yeah, these are big decisions, but I want to, I want to be decent in them. I want to remember that uh, my turn is coming, so I need to be careful with uh, what I put out into the universe as it applies to the um, loved ones that matter to me. And as you look at this, I want to remind women, this is part of the reason that um, I have always had a no green card policy. I won't pay for that because I understood the responsibilities of Wanda. Wanda is smashed between an elder and a baby. Okay, between and that these are two complete dependents. I don't have the money to um, five, ten, six thousand dollars to help any adult come to this country. They can raise their own money, and I can help them with processes and things like that. But everything else, it's a no go. Even now, all my resources being used to stay here to see about my parent. And guess what? You want to hear the amazing thing? You only get one. So. It's my intention to do this right. I'm excited about my ambassador. Um, I'm going to release it. I'm have a, I have a, a flyer being made for her. I want to you know, give her the utmost respect. I'm excited. She's traveling out December 15th, and she will um, do all things, represent me in all things, Dr. Wanda and Wanda Lance Naturals, as it applies to Ghana, West Africa. So the outreach will continue. Benjamin is excited to work alongside her. And I'll always carry my end, which is keeping you abreast of what we're doing through um, the media, you know, through YouTube, TikTok, Facebook. That's pretty much where I play at. And um, I thank everybody on here who has been sending me well wishes and leaving me sweet messages. It has taken me a while to speak because I had to find the words.